here to do a follow-up on the rebuild of this Zenith Transoceanic R600. Uh, somebody wrote to me on the uh, Zenith Transoceanic email reflector after I posted the videos there. And he said the resistors in the filament string are very important to preserving the filaments in your tubes. And he mentioned five tubes that need to be changed, two of which um, I changed already because they blew up <coughs> in one of the earlier uh, parts of the uh, video series. So I'm going to show you now uh, which ones those are, and I'm going to change them. Here's an R600. I changed the uh, resistors on in question uh, last night. This is a different one from the series. Uh, some I, are carbon film and some are metal film. I wish I'd ordered all carbon film because the metal film is just so tiny that it's really hard to see the colors. Um, so there's a 680 ohm resistor here. This, I think, is, this little tiny one here is the 270 ohm resistor. And over here are three more. There's one here. Um, I think that's the 100 ohm. And there's one there. So there's five resistors. Like I said, they're already changed on this one. And now, I'll, so that's what the finished product looks like. So now I'll go to uh, the one that uh, I've been working on and show you the inside of that one. Okay, so here's the ones we're going to change. We're going to change this 680 ohm in here. That's blue, gray, brown. We're going to change a 270 ohm right next to it. Red, violet, brown. We already changed this 100 ohm, which is brown, black, brown. And this 150, which is brown, green, brown. Right behind it is the other one we're going to change, which is 120 ohm, brown, red, brown. And on the one last night, uh, I was able to uh, unsolder everything right at the tube sockets and, uh, and reattach it right at the tube socket. Um, unlike the way I did these earlier, I, I cut the leads and uh, attached them to the long leads. But I think we can... Uh, do this again by using solder work and pulling them right out of the tube socket. Here's the uh, resistors. On the bottom are the ones I took out last night. Those are called carbon, comp yeah, carbon composition. The uh, one on the top left is carbon film. And then this one and this one are metal film. Uh, Carbon composition is uh, not the one you want to go with. You want to go with one of these other two. And like I said, I kind of wish I'd ordered all the uh, carbon film because they're easier to read than the metal film. And for what we're doing, one is uh, just as good as the other. And then the, the two on the right, we uh, already did uh, previously. So I don't have the uh, new ones out to show you those. Cost you 80 cents. Yeah. Keep it changed. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's just like I tell you, mister. Eat some in here. Buy a few drinks. Sit and drink some. Leave. Well, uh, didn't he ever talk to anybody? <laughs> Not even me. Just sit here and get plastered. Don't one of his friends come in and drag him away. Oh. Well, I got all the resistors in. And uh, here are the uh, old resistors again. And I was going to show you one more thing. In the bottom right-hand corner of the uh, schematic, it actually mentions all these tubes that we just changed, all five of them. And it shows how they uh, interact with the actual... Uh, the, oh, we changed the resistors, sorry. We changed the five resistors, and it shows how they interact with the, uh, the tubes right there. And that is on the schematic of the uh, R600, or all the 600s, that's it, unfolded. I'm using, looks like the A600 schematic. So that's it. Let's see if I can get in there a little and show you. So, This thing's hot right now. <laughs> so we change this one in here. 
It's already so dark. Let me see if I can get this better. And another little one right here. And this one was already changed. We changed this little tiny one behind it. And this one was already changed. That's it. That's all five of them. So that's just my follow-up to the uh, Zenith Transoceanic Repair.